feelings uh, of my first race in Formula One is difficult to put into words and I've always dreamed since child uh, to be one day a Formula One driver in Melbourne on the grid being uh, next to, to these champions was, uh, was an amazing uh, feeling. Uh, worst moment, probably Shanghai. It was the third race of the season where I was uh, struggling a lot. And the best race is the one just after Shanghai, which is the fourth race with the sixth place in Baku was something, uh, uh, yeah, very good for the whole team and it gave me a lot of motivation. The Monaco Grand Prix was extremely special to me. I've grown up uh, watching this, this Grand Prix and to finally be driving in these streets in Formula One, uh, the streets that I've taken to go uh, to school, was quite a strange feeling. It was a, a very nice weekend and a very nice uh, way to show my friends and all the people that are in Monaco that don't completely understand my sport, that I've made it to the top category of this sport. Well, it's definitely going to be uh, an amazing opportunity for me. It, it will be a big jump, so I will have to uh, step up everything, uh, basically. I don't have any particular worries. Uh, I just think I'll have to really focus on myself and try to do the best job possible and try to grow as quickly as possible as a driver. Uh, it has been an amazing season for me. Um, I have to thank Alfa Romeo Sauber for continuing to give me the opportunity to be in, in Formula 1 this year and to start my, to start my Formula 1 career. Uh, without them, I will have not get the shot at Ferrari. The year after, I've learned so much. It has been such an interesting project uh, for me, such an amazing person, a better team. They have a lot of experience with young drivers. It was just a, a crazy year with a lot of support, a lot more than, than what I expected. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to thank you a lot for, for all of this.